Hey everyone, this is Rebrand in Public, a video series where we discuss how we are rebuilding, refactoring, and rebranding iThemes into solid WP. And my name is Matt Cromwell at uh, Stellar WP. And hey everyone, I'm Devin Walker. I'm uh, Matt's longtime business associate, partner, friend, and uh, also taking the journey to this uh, iThemes rebrand. Today we're going to be talking about what went into thinking about the name Solid WP, what went into the creation of our logo, how it's still not finalized. Yeah. Um, we're going to bring on a really special guest for that. And um, and yeah, excited to share kind of in this first episode um, our thought process and everything that I w went into it. So yeah, let's get it started, Matt. Yeah, absolutely. So I think first thing we want to do is just like describe like why this is such an important subject. Um, when go jumping into a rebrand, I mean, first thing top of mind is is basically like the brand itself, right? Uh, uh, in your mind, Devin, when we were talking about uh, doing this, um, how was it in your mind in terms of importance? Extremely important. I mean, when you think like uh, about a brand, like iThemes and what it means and where you where we want it to go where it should go um it's hard to immediately come to an answer that makes 100 percent clear sense so mm -hmm. i think when you and i were first starting to get into this uh this brand and this project this next um big move for it um it took quite a quite a bit of time to hone in like where where is it going to go for the next 10 plus years, right? Exactly. What does it yeah. do really well right now? And um, that took us a, a couple of months to get through that For process sure. at least, right? For sure. Like, I feel like we were really trying to find like a name that would really go well. And every time when you're thinking about WordPress names, it's like, well, do we want the WP on it? Do we not? Um, mm -hmm. And we definitely wanted to have a, a name that um, kind of gave uh, the impression of a, of a foundation, uh, like, and that's, that's something you'll see even on our website already is this, the, the language that we have around building a foundation for your website. Um, mm. and that, I think that was really directional for us. Don't you think like in terms of just, uh, how we ended up eventually landing on solid, um, it, it kind of solid itself suggests like a solid, what Well, a solid foundation, right? Right. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I agree. I think it took us a while to even get to that, like the foundational aha moment, right? We were um, first talking about, okay, well, you know, iThemes security has got a million active installs. It's on the iThemes homepage for the last, you know, in the main hero section for the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. It's been their sort of like flagship for the last couple of years too. Mm -hmm. um, why don't we talk about spinning that off into its own brand and then spinning off uh, backups potentially, and then creating sub brands and what, what would then iThemes become if it sticks around? There was also yep. talk about, oh, well, we have this Stellar brand, maybe it, somehow it becomes part of Stellar. And then I, yep. I think after all that cloud of conversation and opinions and thoughts cleared and you and I were like, well, what does it do really well? We sat back and we looked at like, let's take a look at security. Let's take a back, look at backups. And then when we also looked at at sync the the SaaS web maintenance platform that we run and how both of those were pretty well integrated with that platform like you could run your backups from sync throughout your network of sites you could manage basic security throughout those two um then it started to see like oh there's layers and there's inner workings here and um and and these are solutions that every website needs, right? So it doesn't really make sense to start spinning them off when they already work really well together. Um, and that's where we started going, okay, let's let's make the decision now that we're not going to spin off any brands. Yeah. These are going to stay together. Um, but we can't stick with the iThemes name because obviously yeah. that's not going to work for this direction yeah. we're going, right? Yeah, we've said it in a couple of different places, but 
Um, iThemes, everyone knows it from its reputation and how long it re it's been in the WordPress community for so long. Um, and when you say iThemes nowadays, nobody thinks about what that word actually means. They think about the brand and they think about the team. They, they like they never. But if you actually th sit there and and say like, well, iThemes, like, do you guys sell themes? Like, <laughs> and then and then all of a sudden it starts to fall apart. Um, and that's that's really one of the things that really pushed us uh, in, in the direction first was that it's got to be something that is much more emblematic and uh, representative of what we actually do today at iThemes. Um, and that's mm -hmm. that's exactly what you were saying. It's like um, refocusing on the the whole suite of of security and backups and and uh, maintenance is like, is that solid foundation that we really wanted to go for? It's so funny, like since we picked the name solid, like nobody in the in the company can say, like solid is such a word that you use all the time. Uh, man, that's really solid. Like that's some solid work. And it's like, now it's, it's becoming a pun and everybody's like, oh man, I said solid. Um, I think it's great. Well, I, I think that's kind of where the name mm -hmm. came from too is, uh... We were searching for a bunch of other names. We should we go need. find that list where it kind of, um, first of all, we wanted a pretty cool and short domain name that was yeah. a .com and um, most likely included WP either before or after whatever the yeah. name we wanted. Um, and we wanted it to sound cool. And after we landed on that foundational kind of layer, every solutions that every website WordPress website needs and can benefit from. Uh, it, we just started brainstorming. I think we had Essentials WP, yeah. which were really you, I, you I like that, that one a lot. Bit. There was another one in there that was yeah. pretty good, though. I'm trying to remember, but um, I still like it. But then we got, yeah, and then I went on to uh, then you know I say solid all the time even before yeah. we were yeah. doing this right and it's just something I don't know if it's a California, California thing California, or something but I mean we're, we're both California bros could be. so that's kind of <laughs> <laughs> but then it just sort of clicked I was like oh let's see if this website's available or this domain's available and if you typed in solidwp.com it went to dan.com which is a, one of the premier domain resellers mm -hmm. and hey it was affordable mm -hmm. And so that was kind of how we were like, oh my gosh, yeah. it's, it's, it's here, it's ready. And then we looked at the comp competition out there. Um, some people have used that name in the past for like a 2014 bootstrap mm -hmm. theme. Um, there was another, I think, website mm -hmm. maintenance company. None of these sites looked updated. None of them owned mm -hmm. the .com. None of them had a trademark. And... We will also like the the alliteration of it when it talked about yeah. solid security, yeah. solid backups. It just it, it's not alliterative for yeah. solid backups, but yeah. you get where I'm going. It kind of slides off. Being the, able to the use it as an adjective not, is not just the brand itself, but a, an adjective of the products. Um, I think that was for me that was the tipping point because like it's calling it like uh, essentials. Like I liked essentials a lot, but essentials security or essential security it just starts to be a little bit too much like essential uh backups essential um uh cent central essential central that oh that's <laughs> that would oh, never work gosh. um but, but yeah. i think a uh, next step that was really significant is like once we landed on solid then we really were like now we really need a brand we need a logo that's going to really represent that really well for us um, and that was quite a, a journey. And in this series, we're, every time we're going to make sure we bring on a guest. And every time that we can, I want to bring on somebody from the team because we got a great team here, uh, the iTheme Solid WP team. Um, and uh, I want to highlight them and all the awesome work that they're doing. Today, we're going to bring on the, the guy behind the logo himself, uh, Alberto Riccio. Alberto, hey man, welcome. Hello, hello. Uh, yes, thank you so much uh, for bringing me on. Uh, yeah, the logo was definitely a journey. Uh, it yeah. was a lot of effort, a lot of collaborative, collaborative effort, uh, and it was a lot of fun, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so just to introduce myself a little bit, my name is Alberto. I'm the UX UI designer here. Uh, so handle a lot of things, kind of wear a few hats. Uh, so plug in UI as well as some marketing, as well as some branding. Uh, so yeah, I. I guess was the initial one to really take this uh, 
logo project and just you know hit the ground running and it was a yeah. whole lot of fun we we included a lot of designers uh input from you know some of our uh, family of brands which is really really awesome yeah. uh, some some real uh good collaboration you know never never hurt anybody mm -hmm. uh yeah so it really was a really fun uh project to go through of course like you guys mentioned we're not completely 100 percent there uh but yeah. I, i'd say we're there we're pretty close we're getting there you. we're getting there <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. uh yeah so that was a whole lot of fun um yeah I, cool. we can definitely go through some of the details if you guys like too yeah i mean let's real quick before I, we're, we're gonna show um a lot of behind the scenes here um in terms of stuff that um um is not going to make it to the public in any other way <laughs> uh but uh, alberto mm -hmm. when we first like threw um this name at you what was your impression and where did your mind go very first yeah so i'm not amazing with names uh i'm not the gr greatest with coming up with that so i thought it was awesome <laughs> um i thought it was really really cool solid wp like you guys mentioned kind of rolls off the tongue uh the way that we're able to use it for separate products uh was also really really fun and <laughs> like you guys mentioned there's there's a lot of puns going around uh mm -hmm. so that's especially on the slack messages but um yeah uh that that really came off to me as something very cool again it, it did sound foundational so that was really awesome uh mm. and yeah once we started going into some of the uh brand personality and, and some of the characteristics that we wanted to come off with it felt very close to home you know i themes always had a really good set of values uh so it was awesome to see that kind of moving forward you know revamping a little bit pushing it a little bit more forward but definitely keeps uh, our users keeps people you know at the center yeah nice that's cool all right well we're gonna bring up your screen here and um yeah. you and Devin are gonna walk through uh some of the iterations along the way um i don't know if everyone really knows this but Devin is a bit of a designer himself um and uh he is not 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 oh, only right. a designer he's also <laughs> extremely particular about design um and uh we have <laughs> Alberto's been very patient with kind of what I'm so, trying to say. Uh, yeah, you, exactly. Alberto. <laughs> but before you yeah. share the screen map, Alberto, why don't you like kick it off and like before. So when we first came up with the name, we're like, okay, now let's get the logo. There's lots of great designers at, um, at mm -hmm. Stellar, right? Um, let's, let's sort of crowdsource a, yeah. a batch first. And we had Alberto do three. We had two other designers do three each um, to give different perspectives. And Alberto, you've been with iTheme slash Solid for what, almost yeah, two years now? Yeah, about to be two right? years in a few months, yeah. Yeah, so after we got those back, I didn't give them much time. Like I wanted like, you know, quick and dirty logos. Like I think it was a week, yeah. right? And so out of those three, Alberto definitely had um, the, the batch that I think was more in the direction that we wanted mm -hmm. to head. And I, I think that was because you have this unique perspective of like, um, you're not an iThemes OG by any means, but you have enough of iThemes to get uh, sort of the vibe of where it was and, and enough to where we wanted it to go. And I think that made your design shine through a little bit. And then when you start sharing your screen, why don't you walk us through at that point, which we said, okay, Alberto's clearly our guy here. You were always gonna be our guy anyways like where you started going on that. Gotcha, yeah, definitely. So let's go ahead and jump in. But yeah, it was um, it was a lot. Yeah, it was very, very cool to be honest. Uh, essentially getting the, like you mentioned, some of that little bit beforehand of, you know, not necessarily being an iThemes from the very, very start, uh, but still having some of that influence and then moving forward now to solid WP. Um, yeah it, it was a very interesting take uh seeing the values kind of instilled in the kind of early early internet and then you know kind of moving forward into now which you know when it comes to design it's it's a massive difference uh you know go moving into much more modern sort of aesthetics um much more SaaS based things uh so that was definitely some of the thinking kind of moving forward into hearing you know the name solid wp and then initially what we jumped into uh, which is usually kind of part of the process is uh, just our values um, basically discussing mm -hmm. uh, what our brand personality is going to be how we want to come off so this right here that you guys are seeing is actually the original i think first three um 
right when the whole kind of mention of solid WP rebranding was brought up. Uh, and I think this was the one that eventually got me with the, you know, moving forward. So this is the first few iterations. Uh, so as you can see, we have uh, some brand values here, uh, modern, welcoming, trustworthy, knowledgeable, stable, secure, technical, yet approachable. Um, so the way that I kind of approached these three different variations uh, initially um, was, of course, I'd like each one to exemplify each of these, um, but some might exemplify one or two of these more than some others. So I kind of took that approach. So this is the first three initial takes. So you'll notice one, two, and three here. Uh, so yeah, Solid WP had a lot of different fonts initially. Um, mm -hmm. We had a lot of different logos initially, lots of different colors playing. Uh, so again, uh, each one sort of exemplified a little bit of each. So technical approach compared mm -hmm. to maybe a more modern and stable approach and maybe something with the shape can give off a bit more stable. Uh, mm -hmm. Same thing when it comes to technical. So the, the different colors of the S here might have come off as, as a little bit more techy. Uh, this one was, I believe, the approachable um, um, example uh, where, you know, you see a little bit more curves, you see uh, a somewhat of an inviting shape. So yeah, it, it was a whole lot of fun uh, and there was a lot of yeah. nitty gritty going back and forth even uh just initially on this first one but there was yeah. plenty after i really love how much variety there is in all three of these and i remember also my first impressions of your deck was also the the way that you made each of them um be very versatile um i think i that really stood out to me personally like i wanted to make sure that whatever we had was able to be used in a lot of different contexts um yeah. the other one i loved mm. was just the purple i don't know why but like <laughs> The purple just really makes a big difference. Um, and yeah. um, I, I think you were the only one that really landed on that so well. Oh, that's interesting. Wow. Yeah. No, yeah, definitely the purple, as you can tell, ended up sticking with us. So that's yeah. pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, the, the purple was really, really cool. Uh, I wanted to give it a shot. I, I, I know it tends to give off a little bit more of that, you know, modern tech feel. So I was like, I have to, I have mm. to include it in somewhere, you know. Uh, but yeah, this was the first initial approach that we had, but like I mentioned, you see round one, but like I mentioned, there was uh, a few rounds, I think we ended up with five uh, in in total. Yeah, something <laughs> like that. Zoom out, uh, zoom out. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, at least on this file. Yeah, this is yeah. this is the end of it on this file. We jumped into another one with kind of yeah. more of the, the yeah. finalists. But, <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, there's plenty of thought that went into it here. Uh, yeah. Zoom into uh, round two. Let's let's get a little closer so we can show oh, some yeah, more detail sure. here. It's kind of hard to get gotcha. kind of smaller. So I think what we landed on from the the first yeah, batch, so. I remember this pretty clearly. Is like we really like the purple, and we really uh, the purple from iteration mm -hmm. three, yeah, from mm -hmm. round one, which was kind of like that. Um, it's similar to the purple yeah. we're, we're going mm -hmm. with now. Um, but you softened it up because you thought it was a little too like dark and, and that's your more approachable one on the yeah. left there. But also the, the symbol from round one, uh, the first iteration with like yeah. the S, like the swooshy S for lack of a better word. Um, and then I, I think both of those combined is kind of where we went with round yeah. two. I that. believe so. Yeah. So right. I, I think that was kind of the forerunner, um, the front runner, sorry, um, of that first round. So we took it into these first initial two. I know this one's looking a little weird. I believe there was a little bit more uh, tinkering there after the fact. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, so mm -hmm. these were the first two main approaches that kind of involved that S a little bit. Yep. So this involves the S a bit. So you can see we're kind of moving into what we ended up with a little bit more as compared with round one. Um, this one did give a bit more of like kind of a developer block sort of feel um so i kind of went with a little bit more of the blockiness instead of the full curves i think that's one of the things that maybe mm -hmm. we moved away from in round one was the complete curves um we we wanted mm -hmm. a little bit more of a fine foundational feel so as you can mm -hmm. tell i stayed with the the square as well um that tended to have a little bit of that so i had that in both of these iterations here um as and that's where the, where the mesh yeah. gradient got introduced too. And I, I yes. gotta say, yes. I love the mesh gradient. I, and, uh, 
I want to see some more messaging going forward. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah, for sure. Especially since now we have some of those gradients already playing in our rebranded public page. Uh, I I, I really think it's going to be a fun and cool way to continue with that brand personality is, yeah, yeah, trying to trying to put in some cool gradients in there, maybe some some moving frosted gradients. Oh, yeah, that's that's definitely in the back of my head. Uh, nice. So yeah, again, we can see some gradients playing here. We can see some additional gradients playing here. So we did have a little bit of a lighter color palette originally, um, but I believe we actually incorporated some of these colors uh, continued into some of our uh, plugins, uh, not in major ways, but when it comes to let's say like alert statuses or even minor statuses, we still use some of those different you know reds and oranges and yellows. So that's really, really cool and fun. Yeah. As you can see, that kind of expressed mm-hmm. itself a lot here. There's a lot of oranges and yellows. Uh, and yeah, here is the third attempt as well. So that's, we went the one with kind of the, the close, closer to the swoosh and the S. This one is a little bit more left field. Um, so I really wanted to, you know, give another shot at something that felt foundational and solid. Of course, this is not something we moved ahead with, but uh, yeah, just another, another go mm-hmm. at it. Um, I, I think the colors here were a bit more playful. Uh, just in general mm-hmm. uh, and yeah you can see also our attempts at so different fonts, fonts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we've had plenty of those uh, and that involved a lot of really good collaboration um, people from modern tribe um, definitely gave us some really really good tips and, and pointers going back and forth I think right around round three um, is when we had a lot of really good modern tribe uh, uh, like kind of font uh, work yeah. or font, uh, suggestions. So that was really, really fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. So round two, again, it got us closer. It definitely got us closer. We're seeing a little bit of what we moved ahead with, uh, the mm-hmm. purples as well as some of the shape kind of finding itself. Uh, we did originally stay with the Sarah Pro for a little while, but we ended up changing that. I think right around round five. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, round, we, round 27, I think. <laughs> yeah, we, we've stopped yeah, counting yeah. rounds now. I guess it's my designer rounds. brain, you know, I kind of have to like, like, stick on top of each of them. Uh, totally. Yeah, so, and then we eventually started moving into the round three, which we felt yeah. like we had something here, but there was a little bit of a hiccup that we ended up running into. We kind of opened up this one to to a few people and we ended up kind of switching around round four but um as you can tell we kept that s shape so we took it and we i believe we put this little uh kind of in the middle shape that connected both the bottom and the top um accents of the s uh as you can see also we have plenty of purple palettes here um plenty of really cool gradients going on uh and and hey i kind of Kind of forgot how many gradients we had working here this is cool <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah so again we stayed with the s uh, we started shaping it a little bit more we started playing around with some circles and squares and playing around with some background accents and uh this is just now kind of getting into the fine tuning a little bit uh we opened it up to some of our uh employees to check out the uh this logo here the finalist that we went ahead with i believe was this one uh so yeah. Here's the finalist for that version uh, of of the logo. Again, like I mentioned, we stayed with the Sarah Pro, uh, but then we ended up getting some feedback, and it didn't yeah. necessarily sit well with some people. Um, it, yeah, it, it, I'll, it kind I'll, of, I'll speak yeah. to that just a little bit. Like we definitely cool. did get some feedback that it was too similar to yeah. uh, a, a symbol that was essentially for the uh, the the Nazi Air Force. Um, the SS yeah. uh, symbol. Uh, and <laughs> yeah. on truthfully, like this is something that happens with folks all the time when it comes to, yeah. to imagery and design mm-hmm. and even colors and whatnot. Like you never know exactly how things are going to, uh, how it's going to evoke different stuff for different people, um, which is why I feel like it's so important to get it in front of lots of different people's eyes. Uh, like truthfully, Devin and I, we come from a similar background. Um, and um, and uh, honestly, I even ha- am a, a student of history and I live in Germany and I didn't see it that way at all. Uh, but yeah, as soon as somebody mentioned it, it's hard to, to not see it. Um, yeah. And so 
uh, yeah. I think it's really important that we got that additional feedback and, uh, and beat it up a bit more. So, yeah, I think that's the value sure. of, you know, kind of including people, uh, the value of, of having a, you know, a nice big community that's able to kind of give, give us some, some responses and some feedback. And exactly. yeah. And when, when we opened it up, it didn't necessarily sit well with some people and we say, Hey, no problem. You know, that's obviously something that we can fix and, and you know, move forward from right away. Uh, so, so we did, uh, we, of course, we stuck with some of the same colors. We stuck with some of the same, um, uh, parts of this, but the general logo did change. So we ended up moving over to, uh, something a little similar, but different enough that it's not going to be taken in that manner. Uh, and again, we've, we've opened this up to public as well. So that was a really, really great feedback uh, session yep. also. So we ended up landing with this solid WP. So as you can tell, the fonts were uh, morphed a bit. Uh, and that's very big thanks to, um, you know, some of our friends over at Modern Tribe. Um, shout out to L at Modern Tribe. She was amazing yeah. on this project. Um, and we ended up morphing that S. Uh, so it felt a little bit more inviting, obviously didn't give the re resemblance of what it did previously. Um, but I actually really, really loved that we ended up moving anyways into this because uh, this S does give more of a solid foundational feel. Um, mm. It does feel more planted within the circle. So um, I, I really, really did love that part. And yeah, as you guys can see, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Yeah, can you zoom in to the S just a bit also? Yeah, like, yeah. There's a, a little bit of a, 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 a shading in there. This is something exactly. that I think Devin and I really wanted to see as well. We love giving a little bit of depth to icons like this, and uh, folks might notice that really strongly in the Give logo. That was something that was really important to to, to Devin and I. Um, talk a little bit about like the way mm -hmm. you're doing the, and, and I'm, by the way, just heads up, like the stuff mm -hmm. that's below, like the product ones, we're going to talk mm -hmm. about that later. We're going to bring you back later, Alberto. Cool, cool. Uh, gotcha. So today, just solid WP stuff. Um, yeah, yeah. Talk a little bit about the difference in uh, in the font weight um, yeah. and how that evolved, because that wasn't always the case either. No, definitely, yeah. Yeah, and also the treatment of uh, the WP, because I don't know mm -hmm. previous iterations if if our audience noticed, but there was it was in the top right, it was in a pill, yeah. it was it was all over the <laughs> yeah. place. Yeah, um, right? so we played around with the weights a lot. Um, so originally, I believe we've had these weights actually flip flopped. So I think the the WP was probably a little bit stronger, which is obviously probably you know, not the best way to go. We we want to come off as you know our brand is solid. Uh, so. We ended up flip flopping uh, back to having the solid weight being stronger compared to the WP. Yeah, we had the WP. I believe it was a little pill up here. I believe, you know, that I think that's done with Gib and, and some other brands. Uh, we ended up moving away from that. There was a lot of sizing issues with it. Uh, you know, we, we want to make sure that when, you know, we see users and customers see this logo that they get it right away. Um, I, I'm sure that was some of the thinking that went in with coming up with the word solid WP to even begin with. Uh, so that's something that we wanted to obviously stay very strong with, uh, stay solid with. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, so it was really cool. Uh, again, like I mentioned, with the uh, logo, we flipped it a little bit there. With the fonts itself, we played a lot with it. We had a lot of tinkering sessions with other designers um, where basically we went through a bunch of visual brands and examined them and how they came off to each and every one of us. We literally went one by one asking each other. Um, we uh, had a little Slack where everyone was sending a bunch of different fonts together. Uh, we had even one-on-ones with, with uh, specific modern tribe designers also. So if this one, the word mark was very, very collaborative. Um, I believe the fonts here um, that we ended up move, moving with was the ABC extended and the interfont. Uh, but even then we uh, uh, did some custom work here, I believe. So even then it is still customized. Uh, I don't think the ABC uh, font that we used for the solid part here was perfect. Um, so we did do some work, I believe on the I, on the L. Uh, so it, it is a very, very mm -hmm. custom way to go about things. And it ended up coming off really, really cool. Um, it, it seems approachable. It also gives off that solid foundational feel. And you know, of course, we're part of the WordPress ecosystem because this nice, big, prominent WP where it's not you know, you know hard to see or, or anything like that. Um, and then we kind of at the end started playing with spacing. So we wanted to make sure that the solid WP stayed together, obviously. Uh, how much space between each of these elements 
uh, that was also something that we had to think through as well. So yeah, definitely lots and lots of thought. We have a few variations here just for different uses. Yeah. So, you know, black and white, we have the purples, we have a little bit of a lighter uh, or a full purple. So again, I, I, I really like that purple that we ended up moving ahead with. And uh, yeah, through some really awesome collaboration, we came up, I think, with a really, really fun and cool set yeah. of logos. Absolutely. Do you have one of the ver varieties that's on a purple background too? Um, oh, I think. yeah, I believe so. So we're yeah, here's here the something. black background. Yep. Yeah, yeah, we do have some of the black with the purple. We also have some lighter variations. So this is a lighter purple compared to this one here to the left, mm -hmm. um, which yeah. is the main kind of purple that we're moving ahead. Kind of like a, a new experiment, right? Yes, yes, exactly. So again, we're still mm -hmm. experimenting. We're still giving it a go here and there. Uh, yep. But where with we, that, as you that can see, this is the outlined. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So there's a lot of really cool uses for this, uh, which, again, speaks to how much work went into the logo that it's able to be expressed in a lot of different ways uh, and still give you a similar mm -hmm. feel, still give you that brand feel uh, and it feels cohesive throughout. Yeah. Uh, again, really, really big shout out to all the collaborative effort that we've had on uh, this solid WP logo, which really translated to the to the totally. product logos, too. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm loving the lighter purple. Devin, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> no, we've uh, <clears throat> had conversations about this. with I, Alberto and I chatted about it yesterday mm -hmm. quite a bit. Um, you and I briefed on, briefly touched on it earlier. So uh, it's one of those experiments that I think um, might not go for. Yeah, but you got to yeah. experiment, right? I mean, oh, like exactly. sometimes you don't know what you, you don't know what you like until you really test out a bunch of things so uh, yeah yeah definitely right. um it, 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 again it's it's a super collaborative effort you know we i think it's it's such a great process here at solid that we we involve as much people as we possibly can and yeah. anytime that occurs we're always going to get you know really quality feedback um and some of those were always going to be a little bit of nuggets for us to walk away with uh so yeah I, I i generally was kind of feeling the same way this this darker uh darker purple is going to be the one yeah can you bring up um the solid wp website super quick let's see uh yeah, the final sure. result on the actual site because on um the site itself, which folks are taking a look at this week uh everybody's heading oh, over wow. there and, um is it sharing just your window yeah let, let's yeah i believe it's the window let's go ahead and move to the website yeah. itself um, yeah here. gotcha just a moment guys let me swap it over just a note this is not the full website this is the landing page you probably already know because you might have been already <laughs> on it watching yeah. this video this is this is the rebrand in public site currently, but it's still cool to just see all of the fruit of the team's uh, labor uh, being actually put out in public mm -hmm. on a live site and all that kind of yeah. thing. Um, cool. Let's go ahead and do it now. There we go. Awesome. There it is. So yeah, Man. you guys can see it. Cool. Yeah. So this is the uh, rebrand in public page. Um, again, really awesome collaborative work. Um, with modern tribe designers and that was just really really fun coming up with this page here uh, all the cool different web elements again this nice big featured logo right here um, with with you know some of our reasonings and 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 uh, kind of pointing to where we're going uh, so yeah. lots of really really cool animations that uh, were fun to even think of uh, these elements were brought in from some of the uh, plugin UI that has been updated so that's a cool little like sneak peek like hey yeah, check out some of that ui <laughs> yeah. um these colors were really awesome so if you notice we we did have some of the yellows um these blues these darker purples in the original color um palettes but what was really really awesome about working uh getting together and working on this is that we ended up morphing some of those colors into more somewhat muted versions of themselves um so i think that's where some of these yellows and some of these uh, uh 
accent colors kind of came from and mm. I, I think it just works well pretty 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 cool way of going about things there uh, so as you can see our awesome two leaders up here yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, and yeah it's again just some really good really good um way of presenting to ourselves presenting this new brand telling everybody what really what we're all about uh these these scroll animations are something that i think we would we i would really love to continue with the full website as well um there was yeah. a glassy yes. okay yeah and a lot of collaborative effort came came into this website too so even figuring out the flow of it us wanting to go from a dark site over to a light site and then more of a colored site so yeah th this was definitely thought through as well and it was just really executed in an awesome awesome manner i i couldn't be more proud of, of this web of this web page here so i'm, I'm super excited totally. about the full site can you click through to um the um one of the blog posts there um cool, no, cool, no, cool. yeah these are for our usable socials yeah. No, those are the socials. Yeah, one of these yeah. two folks here. Cool. Yeah. Um, here we're seeing. So we put we threw together. This is super simple. It wasn't not a ton of design going into this, but um, like I threw together a quick idea, and then Alberto came and cleaned it up, made it actually look good. <laughs> um, but the the idea mm -hmm. there, like seeing i themes on one side and saw it on the other, and then I love how the the icon. So we're going to talk about this in a future episode, but like the, the, those little icons are representing the products in different ways. Um, and then the, that graph chart is uh, emblematic of the plugin uh, UI with the report screen in particular, the dashboard, the security mm -hmm. dashboard. Um, I think that the, the way that um, comes together really nicely, uh, I think is really great. Um, mm -hmm. It looks really clean. And, and just the way that the logo is working on this page alone. I mean, we see it twice right now, which is obviously not ideal, but like it still, it works really well. It's really versatile. I love that aspect of it. So. Yeah, that that's definitely a really awesome thing to see, um, kind of, you know, being born out of all of this effort, um, seeing, yeah, a, a logo that can work well in several places um, and, and also just the 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 amount and the level of accent um elements that we're able to play with um is really really fun you can you can kind of see how it was not necessarily taken that seriously or or, or, or that sort of design approach um was taken with i themes compared to solid wp uh where you know we really want to exemplify our individual products uh we really want to exemplify our um specific ui elements uh so i think that's a really really cool part of uh you know where we're moving and it's just this really really fun approach to design uh yeah. which which i really really do appreciate moving moving forward into the solid wp uh brand nice excellent cool cool sure. yeah. well um devin what any other last thoughts on um the solid wp logo no i'd say as far as the Salt WP logo goes, it's it's ninety nine percent of the yeah. way there, right? Um, but that's just our main brand, or I mean, not just, but it is the core, right, of our foundation. And uh, it's like those big pillars you have to like grind into the ground yeah. first, you know. Um, but uh, I I do think we are getting really close on some of the brand sub logos. I've been calling them sub logos, mm -hmm. sub icons. Um, that have a major nod to to yep. our core. Um, those are really close. We're we're not afraid to put the little icons out there in preview, like we saw on the website. I think the website's really great. Uh, we put that up in record mm -hmm. amount of time, and uh, and the fact that it looks so good is a testament to our team. Um, but if you like that, just wait till you see the actual yeah. website um, because that's going to be a behemoth. We're going to get into that more. Um, but as far as the brand goes. I really like the whole progression throughout, um, whether it's the icon mark, whether it's the color palette, whether it's the font choices yeah. we used, um, whether it was the treatment of a space between, whether we should put a space between the word solid and WP or no space. There was conversations yeah. about everything. And rather than getting stuck in this like limbo state of, you know, bickering back and forth, we, we we've fought through it. Sometimes some decisions were made that some folks didn't like and others did, but we got to a point where we're yeah. all really happy. So I'm, I'm excited for where we're going with it. And, uh, 
yeah, Alberto, yeah. you crushed it. Dude. Seriously, great, great work, Alberto, and and the whole team, of course. I love how Alberto, you keep emphasizing oh, that it was a very collaborative effort. We know that that you're not the only one doing all of this, but um, you're you're definitely a big driving force behind it. Um, so great oh, work, thank everyone. You. Yeah, I appreciate that. It, like I said, it was a collaborative effort. It was really really fun, and I just yeah, I appreciate the opportunity. I you know, being a UX UI designer, I'm not uh, the most keen on every mm -hmm. discipline, but hey, this is very very fun. Exactly. Cool, cool. Well, next up, we're going to be um, bringing on some of our developers to talk about work that we do in the product itself. Um, and so you're going to want to tune in for that for sure. Uh, I'm excited to dig into that. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about like how the product kind of fell flat sometimes in the past and how we're trying to address that going forward. Um, and uh, also a little bit of a, a preview of the new UI that we've been working on that includes the logo and the branding and the colors and things like that, of course. So this has been great, everyone. This has been Rebrand in Public, and go ahead and make sure you hit that subscribe button, of course, and uh, give it a share, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody. Mm -hmm.